What's going on guys? I'm going to be showing you guys how to calibrate your guns with D-Mule and that is going to be for Sega Naomi and Sammy Thomas Wave games. If you guys have one of my systems, this next part you won't have to do because it's already done for you. But if you're watching this and you don't have one of my systems, what I suggest you do is you head over to your D-Mule folder. In my case, it's going to be an emulators, D-Mule, uh, Sinden games, right? D-Mule Sinden and then open up D-Mule. And go to the config and then go to controls and then set the uh, the t JVS test you click the button and then press F3 so JVS test click the button press F3 by the way for anybody that has a keyboard that has an FN key anytime you're using one of the F numbers you have to hold down FN and then press the F number. I'm not going to say that again in the video. So anytime you hear me say press one of the F3, F4 or anything like that. If you have something like a Logitech K400, you need to hold down the FN key. That is normally found towards the bottom left of the keyboard next to the control key. All right, so you have JVS set to F3. Next thing you want to do is for Arcade Joy 1, make sure that coin is 5, start is 1. And for push one, make it enter. It says return, but you're really pressing enter on the keyboard. And when you press the, the button, then you press enter on the keyboard like that. Okay, so you have those set up. And then the last thing, um, well, you should also have your, your digital set to the arrow keys. Up, up arrow key, down, down arrow key, etc. Okay, so have those set as well. Um, forget about all this other stuff. You don't really need to change anything. And the last thing you want to do is you want to go to Joy 2. And then make sure that coin is six and start is two. Again, if you have one of my systems, this will all be set up for you already. So let's go ahead and close that. So what I'm going to be showing you guys now is how to calibrate all the different games. The navigation between each game to navigate around the test menu is different. Um, so I'm going to go through about four or five games that, you know, within those four or five games, it will cover. It will, it'll pretty much cover all the games, and I'll tell you which games each kind of work through applies to um, so let's go ahead and open up rocket launcher and I'm going to do it this way just for just for ease um, right now so let's start with uh, ranger mission uh, that's right here start it up now you guys can do this from hyperspin except for sports shooting USA and I'll get to that at the end here in a minute all right, so for this game, you want to press F4 to get into the menu. And then you can use F4 to move around. So if I start pressing F4, it selects different options. Let's go back to test mode and then press F2 to select test mode. And then we're going to do F4 to go down to IO test. And once again, F2 to select IO test. And then this one's pretty simple. You simply point the gun at the screen and you shoot the X in the center. So let me do that right now. There you go. And now when you're looking through the gun sights, that little X that's moving around should be pretty much matching up. Now there's a big lag, but that's okay. We just want it to eventually be lined up with the sights. Now, if you had the two player gun, which I do have right here, let me do it real quick. You would do the same thing. You just shoot the X and then make sure that that yellow crosshair is lined up with your sights. And then after that, you're gonna press the, I believe it's the F4 key again to, uh, actually it's the F2 key, F2. Then it goes to this and you press F2 again and it takes you back here. Now press F4 to go down to exit, press F2 to select it, F4 to go down to exit again, F2 to select it, and that's it. I'm not going to actually do any gameplay. Maybe I'll do like one or two here and there, but uh, I don't want to make this video too long. So let me go ahead and quit that pretty much that game is now calibrated. That same process is going to apply to Sega clay challenge and the two extreme hunting games, extreme hunting and extreme hunting two. All right, let's do a different kind of game that has a slightly different menu. And for that, we're going to go to Ninja assault, which is right here. Let's start it up. Now, a quick note about this game, if you're playing it with two players, only player one can insert credit. 
So if you try to do it on player two, you won't be able to. Player one has to insert all the credits. And then player two uh, just simply presses the uh, start button on the, on the gun. Okay, so for this one, let's go ahead and press F3 to get into the menu. Now you always wanna wait until you see something on the screen before doing that. So let's give it a minute here. There you go, now you can do it. So press F3. And then you wanna do the down arrow and you're gonna go down to IO test and you're gonna press enter on the keyboard. Then you're going to go to gun initialize, press enter on the keyboard and select your you know, player one gun or your player two gun. This is the player one, press enter. Now it says to shoot at the screen to check gun accuracy. And then it says push enter switch to adjust gun sight. You're pretty much just gonna press enter right off the bat. So press enter. And then you're gonna shoot that crosshair up there. And then shoot the one on the bottom there. And now if you shoot the center, just make sure that, you know, those, uh, that, that fire there is appearing where it needs to be according to your gun sights. And uh, that's pretty much it for this one. You wanna press F3 to exit. And you're good to go. Let's go ahead and exit the game. Um, obviously you would do player two if you had a second gun. Um, so that is gonna apply only to this game. And the next type of game we're gonna do uh, is House of the Dead 2. Let's try that one out. Again, just wait for the text on the screen. I think you can pretty much do it at this point. So let's press F4 and then let's do F2 to move to game test mode. And then let's do F3 to select that. Let's do F, uh, is it F3, F2, F2 to move to gun setting. And then F3 to select that. Again, player one for, for player one and player two for the second gun. So player one gun adjustment. Let's select F3 for that. And simply do what it tells you. Just shoot the crosshair up there. You might have to do it a few times. Maybe move around a little bit. I'm a, li a little bit close to the screen right now, so let me move back a little bit. Hold on. There you go. And there you go. Calculating. Now it tells you to press test or start one to memorize or service or start two to cancel. If you're checking it out, it doesn't seem accurate enough to you, you wanna redo it, press the number two on the keyboard. If you're good to go, press the number one on the keyboard. And that's it. Now we're gonna go ahead and press F2 to go down to exit, select F3, go down to exit and select, select with F3 again. Go down to exit one last time and F3 again. And that is now calibrated. That same process is going to apply to uh, Death Crimson Ox or OX, however you say that, and then House of the Dead 2. And now we have one last uh, set of steps here. This is gonna apply for Maze of Kings, Confidential Mission, and Lupin the Third. So let's go ahead and select Maze of Kings right here. And then for this one, you're also gonna press F4. Just wait for the text to, to appear on the screen. I think you have to wait past this um, till you actually have some text. Let's try it now, F4. It didn't work, so I'll do it now. There you go. Okay, so let's do F2, go down to game test mode, F3 to select that. Let's go down to uh, with F2 to gun adjustment, F3 to select it. And then as you can see on this one, it tells you to select with start button and pull the trigger. So for player one, uh, the start button is number one. 
So what you want to do here is if you see if you press number one, see how the little arrow there switches between the different positions. So right now it's selected to right. So you want to shoot that little right orange square over there on the right side. So let's do that. And you can see that that you see up there next to right next to now there's an old and a now that's the new value that is calibrating all right so you shoot the one on the right then you press the number one to select the left you shoot the one on the left S press number one to select top shoot the top and press number one to select the bottom now this one is going to say side out just do it anyway because it actually works uh, even though it says side out. So I'm going to do the bottom and then press one again, go down to the check. And then if you point to the screen, just make sure that your sights, you know, are lining up with that crosshair there in each of the different points. And then you are good to go. Press the, um, now if you wanted to do number uh, player two, you would do the same thing, pick up the second player gun. So let me do that real quick. And uh, this time you're using the number two to change the positions. So it says right, so you shoot at the right. And then you would press number two to select left and then shoot at the left and same process. Then go down to check, make sure everything's good. And once you're done, if everything is good, you press, the, you press F4 to exit. Okay, then you press F2 to go down to exit, select with F3. And then select with F3 again. All right, so that one is calibrated now. Let's go ahead and exit. Now for this last game, and that's gonna be for a sports shooting USA, if you only have one gun, uh, you have to do this next step. If you don't have, if you have two guns, you're good. Uh, the reason you need to do this next step is because when you go into the calibration for this for this game, it makes you calibrate two guns even if you only have one. So you have to trick it into using your your single gun as both guns. So if you're in hyperspin, if you have one of my systems and you're in hyperspin, you're going to go to the toolkit and select exit to Windows. Then I want you to open up a folder. Let's say you open up this PC. I want you to go to Utilities and then go to Demio Shooter Sinden. Double click that and then double click Demio Shooter GUI. Note whatever is in here, right? This should all be set up before you do any of this stuff, before you ever use Sinden guns on, on, on my systems, you have to run the Arcade One installer, okay? Follow all those steps, then that sets up all your guns for all the systems. You know, after running that, and when you open up Demio Shooter, it's going to have your, your ID for player one right here. What you want to do is take a note of that, specifically this right here. So it's easy. So this says 0F38. Then go over to the player two configuration. That is going to be blank. It's not on mine because I have two guns right now. So that would be blank on yours if you have one gun. Simply select the drop down menu and then select the F38 like that. So both player one should say F38 and player two should also say F38. Okay, at that point you can say save config, click on that. And then let's try that now. Okay. And then we can go over here and start up, you know, you would go back to hyperspin, let's say, and start up sports shooting USA. Let's try that now. And you're going to press F4 to get into the test menu. Let's give it a second here. See if it works here. Yep. Okay. And then again, if you wanted to move around, it's F4, but we really just want to select test mode. So you're going to press F2 to select that. You're going to go down to IO test with F4, select F2. And see it's basically telling you press trigger to start calibration so i'm going to do that on on you know on the single gun right now i'm going to do that squeeze the trigger and then you just shoot at that square up there top left and then bottom okay it says uh one player gun shoot the target okay center target now 
All right, so then it says pull the trigger to start calibration. Do that again. Now I want you to do the second gun, but we're using the same exact gun to do both guns, right? So we're gonna do the same thing with the same gun. And now it says pull the trigger to exit. So you do that and you're basically done. You're gonna press F4 to go down to exit, F2 to select that, F4 to go down to exit, F2 to select that. And let's just go ahead and exit. So at that point, you would go back to the toolkit, back to exit to windows. You would go back over here to arcade utilities at Demio Shooter Senden, open up Demio Shooter GUI, and let's just go to the player two and let's set it to blank because we don't need that there. It doesn't really affect anything, but you never know if it could cause any issues. So leave it blank, save the config again, and now you should only have the player one assigned like it was originally. All right, guys, that is going to be it for this one. If you guys enjoyed the video, don't forget to leave a thumbs up, and I'll see you guys on the next one.